Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com In this tutorial we are going to look at how we can align the decimal points of a list of figures in Microsoft Word Now this is a problem that came up during a course today where I was asked how, how this could be done uh, Somebody had a list of figures uh, you know the alignment was was all out similar to the example on screen at the moment where the figures are on different size uh, so the decimals are, are kind of sporadic in their, their alignment and she wanted a way of kind of aligning them all uh, perfectly in decimal places so that is what we're going to look at here and how we can get that job done now if we wanted to I mean simple ways to start with the fact that the way this is working is that these are monetary amounts and all the decimal places are of two decimal places so if we were happy to do so we could quite simply just select the cells in question and right align them which I'm doing there with my control R shortcut to right align uh, obviously we've got a usual button on the ribbon but it might not be good enough I mean they are, they are now aligned because I'm relying on the fact that they have two decimal places but really we're looking for a better answer than that maybe in scenarios where there were more than two or we just did not know how many there would be so I'm just going to undo that last step and what we're going to be looking at instead is bringing in the decimal tab point now if your ruler is visible in your word document uh, we are going to be using this kind of tab stop button on the far left if your ruler is not visible please click this button on just above your vertical scroll bar on the right You'll see if I click that button my ruler and therefore tab position will disappear if I click that funny looking button which is meant to be a ruler uh, just above your vertical scroll bar it appears and here we have this tab stop now yours probably won't show this decimal tab uh, in fact I put a lot of money on it not showing that decimal tab by default uh, sorry right now because by default it shows the left tab and as I click that tab it will cycle through the different indicators we can use beginning with a left tab stop next up is center next up is right and then we have decimal uh, I know this is decimal it has this kind of upside down T uh, followed by this kind of decimal point that is our decimal tab what I'm going to do now that I have that visible in my tab stop I'm going to position my mouse on the ruler where I would like to align the tab stops so I'm going to go for this kind of 11 and 3 quarters marker but just before I do that I'm going to select the cells that I would like to affect with this change and then I'm going to go and click in that ruler and that will produce a decimal tab immediately any cells I've selected will react to that change and I can see it's perfectly aligned the tab stops now I can improve this a little bit if I wish by dragging that tab stop now keeping everything selected I can drag that to the left maybe I'm looking at bringing it over a little bit more and maybe I'm, I'm happy with that as my final point I can adjust these um, at any point during it but in a, in Word, obviously it's not going to be as effective as Excel at doing this kind of work. And probably a better answer is to insert a spreadsheet into your Word document for more effective uh, calculations of values and formatting of values. But Word can handle this stuff and their, their primary answer here is to use our decimal tab stop to align the decimal points of a list of figures in your Word tables. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com.